Horrible song okay, we're it. live, Brenda. We're live. Woo! We're live. Hi, guys. <laughs> so today, we're gonna have some hopefully fun. We're gonna do something really cool. A lot of people have said at the creative group that they'd like to do, and I just kind of hesitated because it kind of it takes time. But I'm going to get as far as I can get for you all go to sleep on me today, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a from scratch, from the bottom up, wired and beaded pendant that's kind of in the style of Miriam Haskell. And I'm going to use a lot of check beads. And you're going to see the possibilities because the thing is, you don't have to use all those check beads. It could get kind of expensive if you do, even if they're the little ones. I mean, it just, it can You'd be surprised how many beads you use. But you could do stuff with uh, little acrylic beads and caps and metal beads and just, you know, all kinds of stuff. You know, you could take it every way. You could do it all pearls, which would be awesome. I, I would like to do one all semi-precious with, like, the chip beads, which don't cost very much. Now, that would look really cute. You have to have kind of smallish beads. You'll see. I'll show you. So, like I always say... Come on over here, and I'm going to show you how I did it, okay? Javi's so going to flip us over now. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're live. <laughs> Hopefully I can do We can't just cut this off and, and you know, we're live. So she's going to flip the camera. She's in the midst Sorry. of that now. <laughs> if, the, if the tripod she's works. Getting there it. we go. <laughs> okay, it's on there, but I'm still seeing me. That's, okay, just ignore that, Brenda. <laughs> just ignore that. Okay, I'm ignoring that. Hi, Kate. Hey, Kate. So Any, glad you're here. Anyone? Ilyanka's Ilyanka. here. Thank you. It's been nice. It's nice to see you, Ilyanka. I have not seen you for a little tiny bit. So that's wonderful, wonderful. wonderful. Oh, I got a big piece of wire here hanging out. Oh, uh, somebody said uh, very pretty necklace. Hi, everybody. Oh, thank Kate you. Kate says, hi, Kate. Hi, Andrea. Hello. Oh, wow. We got a bunch of... What did, I did the invite thing on uh, Facebook. Not that you had to be invited to come to this, because you certainly didn't. But I was just yeah. trying to get people's attention. Debbie. Because so many... When I made this necklace, that was maybe a month or so ago, mm -hmm. everybody's like, oh, yeah. I want to learn that. When are you doing the video for that? And at the time, I was just trying so crazy hard to get my uh, class that we're doing right now, the Mesh Workshop, you know, lined up. So um, we still have three sessions left. And a Zoom meeting, so we're still yeah. deep in the middle of that. But I can't ignore, you know, YouTube people and and my friends from the creative group who didn't take the class. I gotta, you know, be there for them Especially too. Especially all these wonderful people. Who yes, they're all wonderful. Now, Javi did the last two. She did the braided uh, leather, but I figure I better get myself on here and uh, show you a thing or two. So what we're gonna be making is is based on this design which I did a little while ago. I have a, a dress that just needed something like this. See, let me get it the right way. It goes like this. That looks beautiful. Um, I needed something with these colors and stuff, just this kind of a thing. So I made this to wear with my dress and pair of eardrops. And then, of course, I showed it on the group, and everybody said, oh, yeah, yeah, we want to make that, we want to make that. So I'm thinking, okay, how do I break this down to simple? And I think I can break it down to simple. It's just, it's tedious work. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's kind of like, it's really assemblage with wire. You know, just to make it super easy to get your head around it, it's assemblage with wire. But you work it out as you go along. A lot of times with assemblage, you do that too. It's like, you know, working a puzzle. But, um... With this, it's like you just kind of build your balance as you go along. And I think really the more you do a certain style, the more feel you'll have for it. And you know exactly where you want your placement to be and all that. Unless you change your style up. But anyway, so I did this one first. This is the one that belongs to me. Then, last night, I made two more just so I get my fingers, you know, going good to do this. And so this was, these are really like a Haskell style. I, this was the first one I made last night. This is on a beaded like form armature whatever you want to call it but it is so completely and tightly beaded you don't see any wire whereas on this one you do and there's nothing wrong with if you want to do it this way and let some wire be shown actually my initial idea you know these people that make like a heart pendant out of the old uh, steel wire annealed steel wire it's kind of rustic looking and they use a few check beads in it I mean a very few they don't use a lot but it gave me an idea, and I started sitting down to do it. And, you know, of course, me, 
I'm not a less is more girl. I have to force myself to be less is more. So, of course, I got way more on it than they had on theirs. But the more I looked at it, I'm like, um, I think I like this better for me. <laughs> and then last night when I started working it again, I'm like, I went totally like Haskell. Totally, totally filled in, completely beat it and wired in. Everything is totally wired into that. There's no, there's no glue in this anywhere. I do, still do have a little bit of work to do on this because I see a few places where it's not tight yet. And you'll have that when you make stuff like this. Don't make it and then run out to do a show or throw it on your Etsy right away. Let's sit for a couple of days because you need to go back over it again and find out where you're not tight enough, where maybe you have an assault, a hole in the pattern where it needs to be filled in a little bit more that kind of thing but this is all completely wire and it's on a base that looks like this on the back it's just it's just wrapped wire so all the mess is on the back now if you want to cover that with something i would suggest if you can find um a raw brass or a gold color filigree to go on the back and just wire it on the back you could do that but what you have to remember is this if hey Maureen so <laughs> if you do that if you do that then you're not gonna have a wreath anymore you're gonna have stuff in the middle here and I'm gonna be honest with you what that does to me is it makes me continue beating until I end up with a paperweight just too much on there yeah. so I like leaving it open so what you need to do because you do have this on the back people aren't going to mind this on the back this is a natural occurring thing a lot of the Haskell was faced on the back but not all of it so what you need to do is you have to make sure that all your wraps are very tight and tucked in very good when I feel over that I don't want to feel anything sticking up whatsoever and then another thing you want to do is take a picture of it because like I always say the camera does not lie. You take a picture of something front and back, you're going to see everything that's wrong with it right now. And then you can fix it. So till the next time you take a picture, it'll be perfect. So that's all good. So I did this one first last night. And as you can see, there's a lot of stuff that shows on the back here. And you might say that's wasted, but if it actually fills it in toward the front too. So it's good. It does. And then I've got um, one here I see is flopping around, lopsy mopsy. These leaf beads are hard to get in here and make them lay where you, the way you want them to. They're kind of big, you know. Um, but I thought just the color looks so good with it. I just couldn't resist. So, you know, they're good enough. They're not coming off, believe me. But they're a little bit floppy. Okay, so I did that one. Then I started another one. As I was watching really good movies on Roku channel. So I, why stop now, right? <laughs> so what did I watch last night? I watched Faulkner Stars again. And I swear, that's it. No more. That's, that movie is so sad. Um, and then I watched Ricky and the Flash. And if you've not seen it, you see Ricky and the Flash, because that's Meryl Streep, and she's pretending she's a rock and roll person, except she's so good at it, I thought she was Bonnie Raitt at first. No kidding. And she's with uh, Rick Springfield. She's it. a good actress. She is very good, and she's awesome in this. She can really do it. She can really do it. Oh, hi, Darcy. Anyway, hey, Darcy. Let's hey, see, oh, there's Pat. There's a lot. Pat, I mean, Kathy Pat. is here, Darcy. I don't know who was before that. I know you, Yanka was there. Laurel, great. Squirrels and Pearl, simply, that's Kristen, Colleen, um, Kate, Dara is here. I don't know who that was. Oh, we got um, DLS Designs. Um, we have Marjorie Roberts and Andrea is here. We got a nice bunch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do. I really should send those oh, invites. Oh, Monica, too. Oh, Monica, Hi. yeah. I should really send those invites out every time. Yeah, um, that was somebody. Help. Somebody told me one time <laughs> that they really appreciated that. They didn't feel like it was invading their space uh, because they might not see it otherwise, and they like to come. So I really should do that. But the way they have it on Facebook to send those invites out, you have to go down through your whole friends list or your whole list of people who's in your group now i did it through the group this time we have six we have six thousand people in the group and we have over 38 on thirty eight thousand on youtube so right thank you for subscribing so guys. yes we appreciate we that. that if you're not subscribed to our channel yet please do it because it means a lot to me yeah it's just a simple little thing it's a click like that Whoopee. and then youtube <laughs> will tell you when i'm on here too that helps also but anyway i 
I, I should take time to do this. I'm always running late on time, and it takes a good 45 minutes to go through that. Can you? And I have to really speed read, and I miss people. I don't get everybody invited. I can't invite 6,000 people. You have to click each one. Oh, really? There's not I, like no, a No, there's not. I, I just select them all. Boom, I go. I wish that was <laughs> I, I Maybe it's there. <laughs> I don't see it. I'm going to look for it again. But, um, yeah. <laughs> so I just do as many as I can. But I said, would a metal washer from the hardware store work? No. And I'll tell you why. It's because you need to get through the wire. You're going to see. Uh, I use all those little wires that go around to bead through I it did. on. Now, I'm not saying you could never make it work. But the best thing to make it work is if you don't want to do this, make this wire form um, of filigree. Yeah. I'm going to do a big class on this, guys. It's going to start somewhere at the end of August and go into September, and it's going to be intense. It's not going to be like any class I ever, ever taught. So this summer, you know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be practicing up good. Because I do know how to do this, but, like, to teach you guys, i got to be really good at it. Because you know? <laughs> I don't do this every day, you know. This I'm is sure. not what I do every day. I do, you know, you guys know me. I do all kinds of stuff. You know, I do yes. painting and resin and... All kinds of stuff, you know, patina. so even paper, <laughs> patina. So, um, you know, this, this, and I always tell people I'm not a beater, but I can do this because this is, this is assemblage. It's just assemblage like everything else. It's just the way you approach it and it's on wire. So I'm going to show you, oh, I got one more I want to show you. This oh, one's yeah. even bigger. This one's even fuller. So this has definitely that. got the Haskell thing going on. It's, it's kind of the same color scheme, but it's bigger. It's a lot bigger. And on this one, I have to tell you, I was just finishing up before we started, and it's not filled in completely right here. Where's my Really? Plate? Nope. It looks still nice. It's, I mean, even I from mean, yeah, it looks like okay. my angle. Some people um, would not bother them, but it I, bothers yeah. me. And I have, to be honest, well, to critique bit, myself. This stuff in the back here, you do need some of this in the back because it fills out the front, believe it or not. That's but there's true. a little too much on this side. But when you flip it over, it doesn't look like it. It looks okay. So I figure, okay, that's fine. But right down in here, yeah, I see the uh, it needs just a little bit more. Just, yeah. And just uh, the big the thing with this, too, is, and you can see this because I'm seeing it. When you beat onto there, you want as little of this stuff going on as you can get. Like, you see this here? There's a little bit of wire showing. Yeah. This should be tighter, and how that would be done would be put more beads on there. Or shorten it up. And then wrap it. Um, I don't like seeing it. A little bit is not a bad thing. Even on the professionals, you'll see that. You know, even on the, the old Haskell pieces and, the, you know, really good beaters, you'll see that. But I like to see as little of it as possible. DLS, it's my first time catching you. I've subscribed. Well, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> tell, tell us your name, dear. Maybe, do I know you? I might know you already. <laughs> if, thank you for if, subscribing. If you're, if you're at the group, you should come to the group and join yes. us at the group, too, by That's all means. That's in the link below. You know what? Most of the girls here I do know already. And you know how I know them? They found me here or in a magazine. One of the other things. Yeah, if you go to the description, yeah. you can find the creative group link. I don't even Facebook. know who found me in a magazine. I think Kate found me in a magazine. Really? Yeah. Oh, Kate, wow. Kate did. Oh, it depends. But most it of them found from. me on YouTube. You know, yeah. so, you know, it's a great group. We have about 6,000 people, but really there's maybe 50, 100 people who are regular there. But it's a great group. A lot of people comment. Um, is I don't complain that only 50 or 100 come and talk because they, they come and they go. It's always, you're always seeing somebody you haven't seen for a long time. And it's just wonderful. We're a great group of friends. So there are new friends, new creative friends waiting for you at the creative group. You only exactly. have to go there. And Javi will make sure that you have a link to join us free. Yes. But you just have to be on Facebook. So if you can't stay on Facebook, one of two things. Just stay here. <laughs> yeah. You can't be on there, but we're here every Friday. Or And we're not going to always be live going forward. We've been live for a long time. But yeah. we're going to probably shorten it up a little bit soon to go produce. But... Um, the other thing is, it's like you can't stand Facebook, that won't work for you. Or hold your nose and do it anyway. Get on and just do the group because I, I know some have done that. They've also done that so they could take the classes and stuff. But I have a way now that you don't have to be on there to do that. So that's another subject. We'll talk about that. <laughs> but anyhow, so I'm going to tell you basically in this video, I'm going to tell you basically how I set this up and how I start. 
and what my layout is like. For me to finish this whole thing on here in like an hour or so, which is usually what we spend with each other, it won't happen. It takes it takes me a good couple hours if it, if things are going well to two and a half, three to do really? this now. But it's because I'm slow oh, okay. right now. You know, I don't have a, a definite pattern for this. I'm working it out as I go. Once I have more of a set pattern, I won't be doing that. It'll go much faster. The more you do something, the better you get at it. The less time it takes, right? Yep. But some beading product, projects, they do take, you know, everybody does those, not everybody, but a lot of people do those little check beads that have shapes and stuff now. And a lot of the sites carry them. We don't at this time, but um, a lot of places do. And, uh, and the, I, that stuff looks like so tedious. I get out... Um, you know, one of those beading magazines, and I look at the pattern, and I don't know how to read them right. So I'm looking at that, and I'm like, my eyes are crossing, and I'm like, ah, I don't know how to, you know, I need to, like, watch some videos. I don't do that. I probably could. But, you know, after a while, your eyes get tired. With this, mm -hmm. not so much, because your, your parts are bigger. You're working bigger. And you could work way bigger than this, too, thing, especially if you use big pearls, big uh, semi-precious and stuff like that. So let's just get to it, because I've yacked too long, but I think you've got the the uh, main thing. Debbie said she found me by Googling. Well, I'm sure that Google, I'm really glad that Google worked out. Yep, Kate found me in 2010. We've been together a long time, huh, Miss Kate? And, and Darcy found me here. Danielle remember me from magazines and she found me on Pinterest. There are some people who find me there. Yes, that's true. But we find a lot of people do find us at YouTube and that's why we, we really concentrate on YouTube and then our Facebook group a lot. So, in fact, Javi's out there really busy doing all the Google <laughs> analytics and this and that to start doing Google advertising. Yeah. So we're going to see what happens with yeah. that. Anyhow, so what you're going to need is you're going to start out with 20 gauge wire. And in this case, I'm using gold. This is the brand I use. Beadsmith. Well, this is the 28. I don't know where the 20 is, but it looks the same as this. It just says 20 gauge instead of instead of um, 28. What kind of wire is it? It's, it's copper. It's oh. no, it's copper wire with plating. Copper. Okay. You wouldn't want brass wire, and here's why. Brass wire is tough. It's hard. You need something like that's uh, semi soft, semi hard, or soft. Like they call it dead soft. But if you use dead soft you a lot of times leave marks on it. Well, with something like this, it won't matter. You're, you're going to cover it up anyway. Like, if you're only working with sterling or something like that, and you use dead soft wire, man, you better have padded, you better have padded uh, pliers. Okay, so what I do is I just start pulling it, okay? I just start pulling it until I get a certain... And don't worry that this is hanging out here. Don't worry that all this is hanging out. You'll need it. You'll use it. Believe me. Okay, so I'm going to pull it till it's about like this. And then I'm just going to compare it to this one to see, yeah. This is a little bit bigger, but that's okay. I like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it stay like that by just kind of wrapping around one time. Yes, I've got long wires, and yes, it's clumsy. Make sure it doesn't flip up and gouge in the eye or something. Yes, be careful. Or your neighbor like Javi. You know, we don't want that to... It's not that long, though. She's okay. she's doing something over there, too. You know her. She's got to be playing around <laughs> doing something, too. Sorry. I'm watching your guys. Hey, you know, so. we can't diss Javi because Javi did the whole Sunday. She did the whole Sunday class. So she is progressing, let me tell you. So I looped that through a couple of times, okay? Now, I'm just going to keep going. I'm just making this, you know, as strong as I can going around but these extra loops will provide you and don't worry if they're a little bit loosey-goosey that's fine because they're going to provide you with uh, more spots to wire onto okay so i'm just going to keep going through going around and i forgot to do something but i'm okay so i'm going to show you how to do it now in just a minute till i get around i get around na, 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 na. I'm so silly lately. I get a song in my head for everything. That's going to be a big one, isn't it? It's going to be a little bigger, yeah. Not terribly big, though. Not terribly big. And you can always shorten it up by just pushing on it and stuff, too. So. Pushing on it. So these things hanging out like that, don't, don't even worry about that. That's a good thing, okay? Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to decide 
that this is the top of it. Usually I start right at first when I start wrapping, but I didn't. I forgot because I was talking to you. So I'm going to have to do it here. So I'm just going to come maybe with this one. I'm going to lay this one down, and I'm going to come around with this one through. And you know what? You're going to figure this out for yourself as time goes on. I don't like how she did it. I'm doing it a different way. Fine, then do it a different way. Do I care? No, I do not. Just make it work. That's what it's about. Make it work. Yours will be better than mine anyway. I guarantee you it will. Okay, so now this is way too long, naturally. But I'm going to leave it that way. I can cut it off where it's cheap. Okay, I'm going to cut this off, and this is going to be my hanger. So let me get rid of a little bit of this because I'm tired of it poking me. Do you have my cutters? Thank you, dear. She my cutters. <laughs> so I'm going to cut it off until it's maybe inch and a half long, maybe. I just do that. Okay. So now I'll just leave that alone like that. Don't do anything. Just, just keep going around. And don't worry if your form gets a little contorted and strange. You just don't even worry about that. That can be fixed. You'll be pushing on that the whole time you're doing this. Just be careful when you come around with it that you don't, you know, the end doesn't flip up and scratch you or something like that. You don't want to do that. So, Dara said she found me in a magazine. Jeez, maybe I should be still doing a magazine. And then Darcy said she found you on YouTube. So. Yeah. I mean, you most can't people Google like it. a lot of our new customers. They'll say, "It'll say there's a spot in there. Where'd you find me?" And so many YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. You know, so <laughs> that's true. I know a lot of the people in the group did find me there too. YouTube. So, Javi's the best, really. All thanks, Debbie. Is she really? <laughs> is she really the best, Debbie? <laughs> I had a good teacher. <laughs> hey, if she's the best, and I just let her do it, and I'll quit. <laughs> no. <laughs> She can't quit her own business. <laughs> Javi does good. Javi does good. Oh, thanks. And she is learning more yeah, all the time, but it will take bad. her a little while to catch up to me yet. But she will. No doubt about that. Yeah. And the wire, no, she's better than me, except for on this kind. She can't, it's hard for her to work messy because she's not messy. She's very neat and precise. But as you see, I'm bending this up here. And now I'm going to just kind of go around this right here. I'm just going to wrap this because I'm right here and I can. You do it however you want, but I'm just wrapping it like I'm wire wrapping an end, okay? Because I'll need that. Um, and then I'm just going to come around a little bit more. Somebody had a good question. Let's hear it. Did you tell us how long to cut the piece yeah, of wire a yard. to use? I thought I did. If I didn't, I'm glad you brought it up. It's a yard. It's a yard. Uh-huh. Um, you might need a little less, you might need a little more. But you can see, I'm just wrapping round, 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 round. It kind of like it's a wreath or something. Yeah, just keep wrapping it. Got it. I'm going to make a small one. <laughs> Go for it. See if I can do it. You, know, you can do it. I got no doubt. No doubt you can do that. Hmm. So you just wrap it around. Just yeah. like... So I can, oh, I see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I'm just sense. I'm just making spots for me to wire onto. Oh. I'm just making myself a wire form. That's it. You know, I mean, sometimes you know you can bead onto filigree. Sometimes you can bead onto a blank, whatever you know, whatever you know, whatever trips your trigger. But I find for this kind of thing, it's better if you make your own base and it's so easy it's like a big fat why not right mm -hmm. as i always say it's a big fat why not if they want to could they hammer that down if they wanted to? if they want to but Just there's no bit. need and and i think it's best if you don't and this is mm -hmm. why because these provide dimension got it so when you go through and you wire onto that you get high and low going on it looks more natural like it's in nature you know like things don't lay all flat a certain way you know, you go look in, your na in nature, it's so random. You That's have true. high, low, this, here, that. And it's beautiful, and we like it because it looks natural, you know. So I kind of like to go for that kind of look. A lot of times when I used to make my assemblages, sometimes, I, you know, the more I made them, they were more um, planned out. But my first goal was always to make it look like you're just looking down in a pirate's chest and all this stuff laying in there, you know. But... It won't be like that quite with this. Okay, I think we're about done because it feels it feels pretty sturdy. It feels good, you know. It's not gonna pull out of shape too much. It is a little bigger maybe than I wanted, but you know, 
you just gauge it. You just keep pulling, you know, the ends over each other and pull it. You know what? It make a good teardrop too. You know, a good teardrop type thing. So okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm going to bend it. I might not need this now. I'm gonna bend this like I'm making, you know, a loop, loop de doop. Okay, and this is gonna be my hanger. Okay. So this is kind of tight, pretty small for a hanger. So I'm just going to get in there and lift up on it. That provided my, you know, kind of my form. So that's going to be about right. Can you guys see that? Let me take my poker. Maybe you can. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger hole. You guys just eyeball it. You know, that's me. That's my whole uh, claim to fame. Brun Sue eyeballs everything, you know. <laughs> it's very hard for me to write a tutorial. So my, my, Mostly, I just got to show you. This is kind of what I do. The rest is up. And what do I always say? The rest is up to you, and you're going to do it better than I ever did, which is probably true. Because I always got to move on to the next thing. It's like I told you, I did not start out in this business because I was going to be a teacher. I never dreamed I was going to be teaching anybody anything. I just thought I'd be selling parts, but as time went on, there was just a lot of interest in the parts, and they didn't know what to do with it. Can you teach me? Can you teach me? And I'm like, well, I guess I should, you know. So when, you know, it was possible to get on YouTube and start doing that, we did that as soon as we could. So I guess our first year tubes were in 2010, I think. Yep. She says, yes, yeah, so that must be true. Okay, so I just looped that around. So now I'm just going to go up here, and I'm just going to keep looping a little mm -hmm. bit, you know, kind of get it. Just, you know, nice and sturdy. It's not, you know, for any kind of beauty thing here. You don't have to worry about it because it's probably not going to see it. Okay. Now, if you wanted to, here's a little variation. Since this is bigger, could actually do that. I don't know that I will this time because it just adds more steps to the mix, but I'm just going to say, if you wanted to, you could take and wrap this around and make it into a loop here you know and then just wrap it a little bit more and then you could hang something in the middle of it too if you want like make a drop in the middle if you wanted to i think these are busy enough without it but i'm just saying if you wanted to you can maybe you're not going to put as many beads on it as i do okay. okay a couple people missed what gauge are you using i'm using 20 gauge for this and when i wrap I'm going to be using 28. When I cage or wire beads on a stuff, I almost always use 28. Okay. Miriam Haskell used 32, and that's why their stuff corroded and broke. So I don't want that to happen, so I use 28. Some will use like 24, 26. If that works better for you, then do it. You know, it's fine. It's just I like 28. 26 is probably the best spot. Uh, not for me, it's not. 20 is too. No. To me. Well, to you, because that's what you know. I've always used 28. I always thought it was more authentic, too. You don't want to get too much, too much girth in there. That's not really what you want. The lightest wire you could use would be better. But you know what? Come to think of Javi. Something like these leaves like to flap around like this. Mm -hmm. Maybe a heavier gauge wire when you're doing those. Yeah, that might work not too. hurt anything. Wouldn't hurt anything anyway, but I'm just saying that might not be a bad idea. But everything else goes on real good with 28. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to straighten this out. Now, here's where I have to wonder how far I'm going to get with you, but I'm going to try and plan this out enough so that you can see <laughs> basically how it goes. Um, what I do first is I decide what my big pieces are going to be. You know, what my motif pieces, you know, kind of like what you see first when you look at this. When you look at these, what do you see first? I see those leaves and I see those flowers. Yeah. That's what I see. Um, I'm not using those leaves on this one, though, because I just got tired of them. So I'm not <laughs> doing them this time. You but, never thought of this as a bracelet. Never thought about that. Yeah. Yeah, you could just make it like I did. I did necklaces like this, and I did beat those. 
In fact, what I did is I took a piece of 12 gauge mm -hmm. and just put it on the block and just beat it and it will naturally curve to go around mm. your neck. Then you just make your end, your, your uh, class. That's another class. <laughs> That's another another video, okay? So my main ones are gonna be these guys. And these are those wild uh, rose beads I have. Now I am out of this color right now. We have a lot of red. Yellow. And I think yellow. But I have- There's a couple other colors too. Is there? Yeah. The, I put a link We up don't them. usually, they just, these don't usually hang around, but I've been trying to buy them a little deeper. So they do. But anyway, these are check. So I'm gonna put these on first, and here's how I wanna do it. I'm gonna put one about here, and one about here, on this side, and I'm gonna do one, let's see, how did I do it here, because I like that the best. I'm gonna put one about here, on the bottom. I know it's kinda of hard to see, it doesn't seem to make much sense, does it? And then I'm gonna put one right about here. I, it's gonna give you the motion, that I like, because on this one when I did it, I just put them like that, 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 like that. And so when I started doing it, um, I liked it. I liked how it was coming out. Here, there's this top. See, yeah, that one's the dang one, but it's on there good. Um, it just made me look, feel like it's a wreath, you know, which that's okay. But I, I, I like to have the movement, but I like to have it just maybe a little asymmetric too. That's me, that's how I like to do it. Okay, if you don't like it, if you like it like a wreath, then just put one here, 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 like that, you know. Mm -hmm. You'll figure it out, because let me tell you what. There's not a lot of right and wrong on this. It's just going to be how you figure it out. The main thing you want to do is you want to get movement into your piece, which we've talked about that a lot, and you want to be sure that you don't have a lot of holes. When you're done like I showed you with this one, it looks like... To me, it looks like I'm a little light here, so I just need to wire a little bit more in here. I like balance, but it doesn't have to be perfect balance like did, dot, did, dot, did, dot. No, it can be asymmetric. It can come around the side to about here. I like that look, okay? And then just fill in the rest. So that's what I'm gonna do on this one. So, cause on this here, I really like how this original one I did came out. And there's only four big ones. This one's kind of a smaller one too. So that might be good. And it's an odd shape also, it's not uh, round. So I mean, you, you can make it any size shape you want. You Like if your wire seems like, oh, that doesn't look so hot, that looks kind of strange. Um, not necessarily, I mean, you could bend how you know, I'm gonna show you. You could bend it however you want. You know, I could just take this and push this down a little bit and push this up here and this up and then just pull this down and push down. And I could just change the shape this all together, you know. I could keep working at this probably and get into a heart shape. Let's go in there. Let's go in there. Let's press down on the shoulders a little bit there. It's getting there. Just have to monkey with it a little bit. Push it down in. You see what I mean? It's just, it's playing with it to get it what you want it to look like. Now, this is a little bit bigger and wider heart shape than I would like. But, I mean, it works. Um, somebody asked, are those 14 millimeters or 7 millimeters? The wild rose beads. Um, the wild rose, I can't remember. This is must be 14 or 18. I can't remember. No, it'd be 14. It would be 14. And I use like those, and then I love the 7 millimeters. We're always running out of those. But we still have a good many in different colors. I use those little Hawaiian beads and 7 millimeter like lots. Lots and lots and lots I use them. So, yeah, I'm getting this into a heart shape. I think I'm going to go for the heart shape. What do you guys think? I think it might be fun. Yeah. And so you, I don't know, did you see how I did that? I mean, it wasn't rocket science. I just started bending on it. You know, 20 gauges is, it's tougher, but it's not impossible. Now, if I made this with really super heavy wire, then I'd probably have trouble with that because I don't have real strong fingers. But yeah, I'm happy with this. Me likey. And, you know, this is kind of sticking up strange. I don't like that, but I, I got a solution for that, which I'll show you in a minute. So anyway, I'm just going to start building on it because, you know, if we want to get done at least a little bit today, right? 
Plus, I told my husband I'd cook him dinner, so I guess I better keep my promise. <laughs> and that comes right when we get done. I gotta go out there and do that. Then I get to do the dishes. Yuck. Ugh. That's okay. One cooks, one cleans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's up in my rule. But never I works. don't even have a dishwasher, guys. I don't want one. Me neither. I want to keep my counter space. I want to keep my That's true. My cabinet space. You know, I live in an older home. It's built in 1950, and it's the original kitchen. And there's a ton of um, space on the counter, and I like it that way, and I don't want to give any of it up. So I wash dishes, and I don't care. But I know when I was a kid, it was like, ugh, I don't wash the dishes. <laughs> okay, really? so I'm going to bend this back. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. That'll do. That'll do. My grandpa used to say, that'll do. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my 28 gauge. And I'm going to take a big, good hunk off. I don't want to take too much. This is about, let me measure it. Some people like the measurement, so I'll just tell you. Measurement. Yeah, about a foot. Take about a foot off. If you like to work sh work shorter, then work shorter. I don't care. It's up to you. However, it works best for you. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so I just take this and I and I just um Did I go through that? Yeah, I did. I don't want to do that. Okay, so I start up here on the shoulder of the heart here. I've got a little piece hanging up, it might be an inch, inch and a half sticking up. And I will use that so you'll see why I kept it. And I'm just gonna wrap around a couple three times to kind of get it going, get it secure, okay? And then I'm gonna pull this through, and there are two holes in this, so I'll get it going in through there. The holes are rather, they're not big holes, but they're generous, so it works. Okay, so now I've got that one on there, and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back around. Okay, and then I'm gonna go under it. And I'm gonna come around. So that's on there. Then, do you see on the back how this looks? Messy, right? We don't worry about that yet. Okay, so now I'm going to take this piece that's hanging off here, and I'm going to take the other piece, and I'm going to twist it. Not too hard now, because if you twist wire like this too much, you know what happens, right? It breaks. And if you've already put a lot of beads on there, that's a heartbreak, because now you got to go back and fix that all up, you know? It's like, oh, that's... So I'm going to go around maybe five times, not super tight, but tight enough, okay? And then I'm going to let that end there, just hang off there again because I might need it. And I'm just going to come around again, and I'm just going to keep going. And I might push this down a little bit. You know, this one it might end up clear down in here like that. I don't know yet. I can decide later. I've got play on that wire, so I can. So I'm just going to go through there. And now what I'm going to do is I like the look of how did I do I had two close up on here. So I'm going to do another one right underneath it here. You don't have to do it this way. It's just the way I'm doing it, that's all. I like this look, you might not, so don't do it this way. You know, space them out evenly, however it looks good to you. But what you definitely wanna do is you definitely want to put your big pieces down first, okay? However you think you wanna plan. So I'm just wrapping this around again. And around. And you will find your best wrap, too. You may find that, at, you know, once all said and done, that you do your wraps a little differently than I do. That's okay. So long as it's secure. So long as it's on there real nice and good, that's fine. Don't worry about it. It's whatever works for you. This is just like the basics. That's what I'm giving you is basics. Okay, so those two are on pretty decent. So now I need to come down. I'm just going to leave that there. I might need it for like finishing something off or whatever. I don't need it right now, but I'll just keep it. I like to keep an end loose if I can. Okay, so the next one I wanna do is gonna be more down toward here. So I might just need, I might just have a little bit too much here. So I might need to take this off. So I'm just gonna wrap around and around. I don't really need <clears throat> to coil it back. I'll show you that in a minute when I'm talking about I'd like to have this free end here because I might use it, okay? I keep saying that, but it's true. I might use it. So leave your free ends there until you're sure you're t totally done, and then I'll show you how that you wrap them in and get them out of the way so they don't snag clothing and all that kind of thing. Okay, so now I need another, I'm going to say about 10 inches a foot. 
I don't really measure this, but I'm just doing it for the sake of, you know, you guys are watching it for the first time. Maybe you're watching it for the first time, type this kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to snip that off. That being said, after you do the twist for a while, you can really get the feel of how hard yeah, you do. I'm yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Yeah. But if you go too hard on it, you know what happens. Disaster. So don't don't do that you know it's always better to go soft and easy at first and then the more you do it you get accustomed to it so now I'm gonna come down here because I want one like right here so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna leave some of it hanging out <laughs> so to speak so that I can use it in case I want to because there's gonna be a lot going on on this I'm gonna come around two three times like I did before and this is just to make it secure you got to get a good base I might even go four. Pull this up and just go around the other side of it. Can't hurt. Okay, so now I've got that on there. I keep bending this down because I don't want it to be sticking up strange and have too weird of a shape to it. Although, you can always fix that. It's never, you know, you can always fix that. Change the shape of it a little bit. The more beads you have loaded on there, the less you can change it, though, I will tell you that. Okay, so now i got this one here, and I'm going to push it up a little bit so it's kind of sitting on the edge of the wire. And then I'm going to come around again. Sometimes I'll go around a couple times here, especially if I'm putting it on the edge of the wire, kind of hanging into the, the design a little bit. And now I'm going to go around, around a couple, three times. Don't do too many though, because what you'll do is you'll make something else that'll dangle like those leaves on the other one. So only do like two or three times till it's nice and secure. Then come around again, go around on your base frame a little bit, like two times maybe. Okay, so. So I got this hanging out, I got this hanging out, I got this hanging out. That's all good because I'm gonna use them, like I said. Okay, so the last one I wanna put about, <coughs> let's see, look at this again. This could have actually been a little lower. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one about here, maybe. Let me see. Or it could be, no, it should be about there. I want it to be up a little further. Could that. you go through the bead twice for security? Um, you could, but you don't really need to, but if that seems good to you, then do it. You have to find the holes where they are, so I'll try it. Yeah, there's right here. But yeah, it doesn't hurt if you want to do that. You don't have to, though. Usually, not if you wrap it like this, you'll be fine. But it can't hurt. So now, I got that bent, so it's probably, yeah, what's going through now? Sometimes it'll hesitate on the other side because there's wire up in there already. So what I'll do is I'll take my pliers, maybe these times would be better. Oops, I threw it down there. Um, and I'll pull it out. Oh, I see it. This one it. wants to fight me, too. Yeah, there you go. So you see, I just, I'll use my pliers to pull it out rather than my fingers sometimes because that works better. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. So I don't really have enough stuff to go around and get up to here and be good. So now here's one issue I created by doing that though, Monica. I got a big loop of that hanging out there. Um, that's not terrible because you'll probably be beating over there. You'll probably be making some dimension over that. But I don't like to get that started. When I, out of my, out of my uh, beads, I got a big loop hanging out because, like I mentioned before, the, le the less wire you see when you're done, and I'm not necessarily talking about the frame. I'm talking about from where you beaded stuff on, the better. The less you see, the better, okay? So... Anyway, for me, it has always been that way. Okay, so now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to twist off here because I don't have enough to go around to the other side. So I'm just going to kind of come down here a little bit. <clears throat> well, actually, I'm not going to twist off. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it loose like I did these others because why? I'm going to use them. That's why. So I'm just going to leave it off to the side like that. Now I'm going to do my last bead on there. I keep pushing this back as I go along. You know, I'm kind of straightening this up. Okay, so I'm just going to eyeball this one. And, you know, if you waste a little wire 
Try not to be heartbroken about it. This wire is pretty cheap. Now, if it's sterling wire, that'd be different. But why would you use sterling wire for this? You can't even see it, right? Yeah. It's going to be all beaded over. So, probably you won't want to do that. But if you do, hey, that's not wrong. Just to me, it doesn't seem very practical. But that's to how it feels to me not practical. It's really not for me to say. But I'm saying it. <laughs> Never stop me. Jan, you're not late. Nobody's ever Nobody's late. Nobody's ever late. Nobody's ever late. Okay, so now I'm going to put this guy right, let me show you, right about here in this dip. I'm coming look, looking for a dip, you know, to put it. So now I'm going to pull this through and try to get the holes up close to the edge as close as I can because in that way when you have the bead coming out, it won't, the, the wire coming out of the bead won't show as much. If you have a lot of space between where the wire went in and where you're pulling it around to secure it, then you're going to see wire that you don't want to see when you're done with your design. So I'm going to wrap this around a few times on that side. And then on this side, I'm going to do the same thing. Wrap it around, wrap it around, wrap it around. Okay, and then I will take one, probably the longest, they're about the same size actually so I'll just keep this and I'll take this and I'm going to go around underneath like we did before just to wrap it on real good okay so now on this one just to show you I don't, I don't want to lose that wire though I don't, I'm going to twist it but I'm not going to, um, you know, coil it up and end it because I've got too much wire here that I could use. I might cut a little bit off this though because it's kind of clumsy. Do you have my cutter? Yes, yeah, sorry. She already knew what I was looking for. I already knew. Okay. <laughs> these, these things need to be pitched. They're just too old. Yeah, I know. Every cutter doesn't matter if you buy expensive or That's if you true. don't. And they always go bad. I bought myself a new pair of uh, Lindstrom ones I'm going to try out and see. They're more money I usually like to spend. Okay, so I've got, that's my base pattern over there. Now you might say, eh, I don't know about that. Fine. Um, do something else. You know, you could put one right down here if you wanted. But be careful if you do, because if it hangs off kind of crookedy and weird, it will totally destroy the shape of what you're doing. Okay, you could put one about here. You know what, just for the sake of what the hay, I'm gonna do that. So first, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mash this down here just a little bit. And I, some, who, somebody said maybe it was Javi, why don't you pound it? I don't wanna pound it. Cause I like the high and low, but it gives it dimension, okay? But, um, the high and low. Well, I'm gonna Debbie it, says that's so pretty already. <laughs> you think? Yeah, when you start adding uh, stuff on it. It is, isn't it, Debbie? And it's, you know, for me, I don't know if you'll feel this way if you try it, but for me, it's relaxing. I enjoyed right. myself last night, no end, just sitting here watching TV and, you know, figure, do I want that there? Do I want that there? No, take that off. No, that's not working. This not it? Kind of thing. Now, after this, when I want to do one, I won't get to do it today, but... Um, I, just for myself, I want to try one with semi precious chip beads Ooh, yeah. and beads like that and see how that goes. Nice. And just, you know, I think that would be a cool look. So I'm putting this right at the tip, guys, off just the side to just a little bit. Ah, come on. Come over here, you. Um, but, and some small, like four to six millimeter beads with that. Do all semi precious or mostly semi precious, maybe a little glass. The tiny beads do. <clears throat> yeah. Do good. I like to do one that's all Picasso's. That's kind of earthy looking. Picasso. You know, or maybe Picasso's with some aqua terra and it, you know, that kind of thing. Like those bead mixes everybody likes. Now on this one, I got a small end. So what do I need to do? This is where I need to wrap it. This is where I need to close. It. So it goes this way. Now I'm going to cut this off a little bit because it's kind of long. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pliers and I'm just going to turn it 
and just turn it as tight as I can without snapping it, of course. Okay, coiling it up. And then I'm going to tuck it. Tuck it. Okay, so I fill over that. I'm not feeling anything coming up. And it's, um, there's a little play in it but not too much, so it's good, it's all good. All right, so let's get this one, see what else we wanna do. Okay, so I had decided, I think I did, that I was gonna come up here and maybe put one more, just because I can. I think maybe I'd like to have one more, because this is a bigger piece than that one that I first did, so, okay. And once again, I'm just eyeballing all this. I'm just, I'm working it out the way you know, I'm just working it out as I go along. Okay, so I don't have a lot left on this piece of wire. Wire. Uh, but we'll work at that, too. It'll be all right. Just be a little tighter. Okay. Sharon thinks it's fascinating. I've had no problem with my lens from cutting his wearing out. Well, that's good to know, Monica. I've always been of an opinion. Any player I ever had, maybe it's me. Maybe I go too hard on them. I don't know. But um, they've all worn out in time. And at our site, we usually carry these Zerons, although they've been kind of hard to get lately. Because they're good. And they'll last you pretty good for two, three years. And they're not expensive. So if you're just starting out with beading, you're not sure how much money you want to put into this, this is a good choice. But um, I just kind of thought this time, I was going in to see if they had any more of them. Could I order them in? No. So, I mean... Everybody, all the suppliers, everybody is out, out, out of things. So, um, so I'm going around. You guys saw me. I'm going around with this. Now, I'm not going to be able to take this and go around underneath. So here's how I'm going to manage that. I had this big tail left over here. So it's going to come up there and save the day for us. This is going to come up there and just save the day and just wrap that around. But yeah, I'm going to see how these go. And if I like them, I'll get more and people can buy them. So Lindstrom's always expensive, you know. But the more beading you do and the more you get into it, I mean, it's nice if you can start out with excellent tools, but a lot of times people don't really want to put that much money into it because they're not really sure how much they're going to do. They're just checking it, kind of checking it out, you know. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. So they don't want to put too much money in. So I've always just kind of had basic stuff. My Wolfies were the best tools I ever had, and I still swear by them. They're not expensive like Lindstrom. Um, but they're, they were the more, most costly ones I ever had. Okay, so here we go. So I got a little spindle there. I kind of twisted it around. It's kind of rough, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect looking. We're just going to tuck it in. Anyway, we're just finishing it off. So I'm just going to get it, and I'm just going to tuck it up in there the best I can so people won't see it. And then sometimes what I'll do is I'll get in there and kind of crimp it. Just be careful if you do that that you don't grab hold of your bead and, like, chip the edge or something because you won't like that. Okay, this is a good pattern. I'm happy with this. This is a real good pattern. So now what am I going to do with this stuff? Well, it's really not long enough to do anything with. But if I twist it off here, it's going to span across here. And I don't think that's going to look too good. So, let me see. This one here is actually wrapped up pretty good. I might not even need to. Sometimes if you wrap it really tight, you don't really even need to do that twist off. You're okay. Uh, let's see, maybe it comes time over here you just want to be sure that your beads are secure and that you don't have a lot of play on but like I say these beads here are just an odd size and they're kind of cupped on the bottom and they're just they do move and I'm not crazy about that you can't really do a lot about it okay I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna twist it off I think this is a good place to do it where I can I want to get it to a place where I can tuck it in real good. Okay, now am I going the right way or do I start going the wrong way? No, I'm going the right way, I think. You ever do that? You start twisting something 
And all of a sudden you got two ends again. What the heck happens? <laughs> You're going the wrong way. I've done that. So, it's free stockade work. Yeah, it is. But you know what? Um, the more you study Haskell jewelry, the more you'll see there's a lot of that. Yeah, they worked, they worked on uh, filigree a lot, but not always. Not always. Especially um, in the war years, World War II years, when uh, a lot of materials, you couldn't get them, supply problems, and they used a lot of uh, rope like heavy rope to bead to, uh, kind of like that, uh, what they call the climbing something or other rope. I have a piece in the basement. I thought I'd try it. Thick rope that you could go down in and out of. Um, they did wire bases. They did a lot of things. They did a lot of wood beads. Like if you see those little tiny wood beads and it's not marked and it has a plastic thing on the back that everything goes through, that's a piece of Haskell. I think I showed that in one of the classes one time. That's a piece of Haskell. There's a lot of stuff until like the 50s, not not much was signed. So you had to kind of get to know it. Okay, so here I'm just going to nip that off. And to be honest with you, I like the Haskell beading better than anybody else who ever did it. And a lot of other people did it. Even Hattie Carnegie had caged pieces. Um, there was a company, Robert. Actually, that stuff gets pretty good price. Um, when you find it, it was very nice cage work, but just not, it didn't have the vibe. You know, Haskell had this random thing going on about it, like it just kind of occurred. Okay, I've got another piece I twisted off, so just so you know what I'm doing, I'm gonna just kind of twirl it around and get it hidden. I'm, I'm hiding it, is what I'm doing. I'm attempting to do. Pat says, tuck the wire ends into the wire heart. <laughs> you can do that too. If it works out that way, that's this true. this is this that's be, that's a good idea, Pat. You can do that too. Don't have to though this time. I'm just pushing it down. It's all good. So long as when I'm done, it's smooth, and it's not showing a lot. So you know, however it's good for you to tuck down, do it that way. Excellent idea, Pat. Very good. Very good idea. Thank you for sharing. See, what's going to happen, you'll never see that because when I'm done beating this, that's going to be covered. That's going to be totally covered. Stuff. Because I don't think I'm going to leave any of this wire exposed. Okay, so this one I've got another, I've got a little tail hanging out. I'm just going to wrap this and cut it off and it'll be fine. Because it's wrapped so many times. But I have to get it tucked under. I won't even have to wrap that. And that's, oh, I, I'm sorry, I pulled it back to myself. Because this wire is so malleable, because it's thin, a lot of times you can make it do what you want just by pushing on it with your nail and pushing into place. You don't even have to get the pliers out. That's true. Okay, so here we go. He's a little loose. I'm not worried about him. I can, when I go to bead around the edges of that and kind of put things in there, I would just wrap around it with more stuff. This, that's what happened, you know, in all these. When I went in and out and around it, a lot. sometimes I wrapped um, the bead a little bit more, too. Where's the top? This is, this is it. And just made it, you know, in there a little bit firmer. So now I'm going to start the random wrapping of all the other pieces and parts. So now I have to decide what I'm going to use. Now, I didn't have a lot more of some of the things I wish I had. Like I ran out of melon, the tiny melon beads. The only tiny yeah. melon beads I have are the pumpkin colored ones and I didn't think they'd go with this. The Picasso ones, I think there's one left and I didn't think it was right for me to take it. So it's there, if you want one, go snag it. But the little tiny melons are fantastic for this. Like the three millimeter that you can get now, the four millimeter, they're fantastic. So the next order I put in, which will probably be this weekend, I'm going to get those because, and also this forget-me-not forget me beads, I didn't have any, I don't think, in the right color for this. No, no, I did. I have this. Yeah, you did. These are forget-me-nots. These are awesome for this kind of stuff. Just absolutely awesome for this kind of stuff. So let's just, I'm going to start going around and show you how I fill in. And basically, you just keep going around until it looks right to you. That's all there is to it. So I'm going to get myself another piece of wire, wire, same wire, um, and I'm just going to start working it. Working it. 
right. So, I think I'm going to leave this up here till probably toward the end. But I will start right here and leave an end there on this side toward the loop. And come around a couple times to secure the wire. And then I'm going to come around here. And now I'm going to start putting things in there. Okay, so what will I put in there? Well, I'm going to put a couple of these nice uh, forget-me-nots on. And I'm going to put one of these small little beads of kind of aqua color here and there. This is where you need small beads. Yeah. Okay. And this, I have this uh, turquoise, is it Hubei, I think you say it. I'm not sure. It's from China. But it's not like low-end Chinese stuff. This is expensive stuff. All I can afford is chips. <laughs> Just put it to you like that. So, anyways, I don't know if I'm maybe a little piece of that. Let's see how it looks. You gotta get the really small ones. Yeah. Really? I might put that in there. Just a little bit. And then I think I'll put another one of these guys. And this, again, is stuff you just eyeball it. You'll get a feel for it, like Colleen says. You'll get a feel for how much to put in there and how much you need. This, I think, will be good. So, how many beads did I use? I used about six, seven beads. That might be too much, we'll wait and see. So now I'm gonna wrap that around in here and get it underneath. I don't wanna come up the other side with me, that's okay, because I can keep wrapping. Okay, let's see what it looks like. It looks that pretty good on the back. Three or four millimeter crystals work nicely, yeah. Yep, if you're, doing for, if you're going for a blingy look, or if you're doing like all dark rough and then put a little bit of crystal in there, that's a great look too. This, I, I wouldn't use crystal in this one for me personally because it's, I just want to, I want it more of a matte, you know, look, which a crystal would add a lot of sparkle to, which is fine. But for me personally, in this kind of thing, I, I would not want a lot of that. Of course, you'll never know. Maybe until I'm done with it, I'll say, hey, I thought about what Pat said and I think I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay. I could. I'm going to go. try one of these bigger ones. I love these. We have gobs of them on the site. They sell really quick, though. These beads, they're, they're cathedrals, and they have the silver end. I don't think we have they're, those blue ones on there. This one? The green? Oh. Yeah, we do. do. We? we have a bunch of them, yeah. What? I just got more of them. That's too big. I can't use it. That's why I took it off, guys. That's too big. No way. Now that I look. <laughs> we do. I, well, I don't know if it's a bunch, but I know we have, like, ten or... Oh, yeah something so i was looking at all this morning to see what i had to order you know no we don't have those <laughs> no we don't have what cathedral beads yeah we do no we don't we had them this morning no what, what are they under like is it turquoise color i don't know i don't think anybody no because we don't have a section for cathedral beads so i think they just kind of get put where they get put yeah well they would be named under cathedral beads um that's a six millimeter bead okay yeah, it's a six millimeter bead. Yeah, just just do a sight search. So you can see, can you see, guys? I kind of got this all going on in here, just to kind of enclose it. In the back, there's a little bit going to the back, but that's okay because you need it for fill. I'm gonna stand up so we can see this a little bit better. You see what I'm doing here? Well, this is hanging out. This is that'll be corrected and pushed down. And then there's like with my pointer. Oops. Oh, yeah, There's a, a little spot. We have a lot of here. Here we go, right here, that I'm not crazy about. So I need to push the beads up. Or go back and fill it in. Yeah, we do have a little bit of stuff. Yeah, we do. It just looks so different when you see it on there. Yeah, it doesn't there. look quite it's the like, same. And that I'm is like, one of my favorite yeah. beads. It's really nice, one. though. Yeah. So I wrap that around. So now I'm going to come around this way because I've got a lot you can see to fill in in here. So I'm going to come around this way and maybe get, I might get a little bit of my turquoise in there. Turquoise. I mean, it's kind of an odd combination because I have the turquoise with this periwinkle color, but it just, in a strange way, this kind of works. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm working it. 
I also have these, which I think would be interesting worked in there somehow. They kind of have all the colors. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see how far we get with that. Okay, so now, where was I? Okay, I need to go under. See, this is sticking up here, so I don't want to go over top of that because it'll it'll get lumpy. It's one thing to give it dimension, another thing to make it all lumpy. You don't want to make it lumpy. So, okay, so I'm just pushing that down. I want to get a few more little guys, and then I'll secure this and go on to my next thing. But I think this is giving you kind of a good idea of how you need to do it. The only thing I can tell you is you do need, if you're going to make it really full like these, you know, this takes a lot of beads. You probably use uh, like a strand and a half of forget-me-not beads so you're all said and done with it. You'll use at least a strand of the small melons. You'll use at least a strand of these uh, seven millimeter Hawaiians, you know. There's a lot of fill going on in there. A lot of, I see some tightening I need to do too, but you're gonna have some of that. You can't get rid of all of it. Just get it as tight as you can. That's that's what you wanna do. Do your best to get it closed up. I think I did a video kind of sort of like this one time on a teardrop shape. It's been a long time. Ago. Yeah. I don't remember it, so <laughs> that's been one day. You don't remember it? Yeah. You liked it. You liked the necklace. You came in and you said, Brenda, that's beautiful. Oh, okay. And I remember it because you I must didn't, not remember didn't say that too often. Recording back then, it. Because I always did the rough stuff. Okay. This is folding over and I'm seeing, I don't guess see that. I've seen this piece of wire here. I do not like that. So I'm gonna see if I can push that up somehow so I can cover it. If not, I'll end up going back through here again and doing a little bit more bead. And that's usually what you catch at the end. Like the last time you go around, last time you check everything, you'll catch that and then you'll deal with it. So I may not worry about that too much right now, but it is there, it is there. Okay, so now, okay, yeah, I don't like that at all, right here. That needs to be done something with it, but I'll catch it because it's it's very, very um, obvious. So I see, oh, look at that together. Isn't that so pretty? These just came in. They're cornflower blue with a little bit of gold. Oh my goodness. This is just yummy. This is absolutely yummy. So let me see. I won't probably use all of these on this. So I'll just go from the one end and let a few fall off. Okay, so. These are bigger pieces, but they're good accent pieces. The main thing is, am I gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put this on without having um, the hole hanging out and seeing a bunch of wire. Let's try it. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, I need to forget me not being there to help maybe, maybe that'll help. You don't want to get it crossing over itself too many times, you know, trying to fill in because pretty soon you have a blob. So you just want to try and get it as tight as you can when you first apply it. And then you might go back and adjust a little bit. There, there does come a point where you say, okay, that's it. I, I'm not putting anything else on there. I'm done. I'll see now they're twisted around. That's okay though. That'll be okay. I'll just go fill it another time. You know, as you go along, you'll see, you know, sometimes there's stuff you're gonna have to come back to. I'm gonna have to come back to this. I got a spot in there. Well, actually, I may be able to take care of that right now because I've got the wire right here, but now I've got a lot of wire showing there. So I'll have to kind of mess around a little bit so I don't have as much. It's on the inside though, so you don't see it so much, but. It's just me. You guys, you know, when you make yours, you might say, oh, I don't really mind that so much. I'm okay with that. I don't really care. If that's the case, then fine. Because a lot of times people won't see it, but I know what I'm looking at. And I, I don't expect perfection of myself or anybody else, but I do want a certain level of, you know, neatness, 
expertise, I don't know what you want to call it, but you know, a certain, certain level of um, quality to it. So I'm just going back through there now because I can, I've got this nice, that's why I like to leave these extra strings laying, you know, the extra pieces of wire. So I like to leave them out instead of just closing them off. See, now I've got one coming up here. So now what will I do? Well, I've got wire showing there, so why don't I just come let me see if I can sneak that down in. See, I don't want to make all that wire show, but if I sneak it down in, it'll go down in that crack. And then I won't see it, but I still see it here. I still see. So I'll just have to come back for that. It's okay. I can do it. Okay, so these colors are just yummy. Oh my goodness, they're just yummy. So now what if I... I put a piece of this just for accent. I'm going to try. I don't like... It is kind of... A little bit monochromatic you know light dark the same family so mm -hmm. sometimes I like to just throw that little element of surprise and put some other little thing in there so I'm gonna try it I don't know if I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna try it okay yeah I love melon beads it is a lot of beads Debbie that's why I say you know in time you may find you can work with chips um, you could find maybe you can work with the inexpensive pearls you know and, and make it look great that's true. You know. Or you may find that you learn ways to economize with your beads. And, you know, you can do it better than me because you don't need as many. Or maybe you don't you don't really require your work to be as thick and full as mine. You might be better off with you know, like like this where, you know, some wires exposed and it doesn't matter. It's just it's all up to you. You'll find your style. Believe me, you will. You'll get into your own groove. It'll be wonderful. Your own groove. Is Beansy on here? I didn't see her. No. You didn't see her? I didn't see her. Anymore. She didn't make it. She didn't make it. Oh, well. There are 40 of us watching. What? Really? That's that's beans. wonderful. <laughs> that's the best turnout we've had for a live for, for a while. For a Friday, yeah. Well, you, she did go do the research to find out what time was the best time to put it on. And well, and then I blasted everyone, too, so... <laughs> yeah, you blasted everyone, so did I. So, between the two... No, I said I blasted everywhere. I meant, like, did all the social media. Yeah, you did all of them. I didn't do all of them. But I did the invite, and that's yes, the time. That, that did and that's that. directly to people you know, so they might be yeah, more likely to show up. Okay, yeah, I like that in there. It's just a little hint of something different. Almost like uh, conquered grapes. If you ever see conquered grapes on the line, there'll always be some green ones in there. That's just the nature. Green. So they're not they're not ripe yet, you know. Oh green would look good with this uh, green stuff. So, you know, and you'll see, you know, it's kind of like it's pretty even along here, but not perfectly so. You deal with that at the end, your last pass through at the end, you deal with that. And you, you know, clean that up the best you can, the way you want to do it, and you're good. And you don't worry about it, okay? So now I don't have too much left here to try and secure anything, but I might, I might just put a few more little beads, little ones. What happens with me is, it, Sometimes after a while, I get a little punchy, you know, seeing the holes in the beads. You guys ever get like that? Get punchy? Yeah, kind of like... Like, don't uh, know what to put next? Well, no, it's just kind of like... get kind of foggy. Huh. A little bit. It could be I need coffee. Yeah, that's probably it. Usually this time of day, I need coffee. Okay. So coffee. now I'm going to try... I'm going to try and get that... Under She's avoiding me. What's that? Debbie's avoiding. <laughs> Debbie's avoiding me. Who? You mean Beansy? Is Beansy's avoiding, avoiding you? you. She said she was coming. How dare she? Something probably came up. Dinner. <laughs> Dinner. Pa came home and started saying he was hungry. She Sometimes takes good care. That, she too. takes good care of his of him. I have to say. Um, she takes really good care well, of that ball. Sweet food, Elsie. <laughs> I feel like mine looks like a turtle. <laughs> what? I feel like mine looks like a turtle. <laughs> so now, this is another reason I like these these, these uh, forget-me-nots beads. 
when you layer them all in a row, they give this little ruffled effect. Let me get up here and ruffle get effect. under here and see. Oh yes, I, I see what you're saying. Like I put like you need four. like more little smaller beads in there yeah. just, just yeah. to like yeah, push them and through. that makes it tough because when you get to the place where your little beads are gone, then you're kind of up a crook because you need little beads. Oh, Oops. that's not a bad idea. What Michelle said, uh, you could curl the little bits of wire at the end. If you want them exposed, right? Or you could, but you got to be careful. You tuck them down pretty good. Yeah, I have on this one, um, there are pieces that are curled and exposed on this one. Curled and exposed. But you got to be sure you get them pressed down in so that they don't hook on anything. But yeah, you could do that. Sure, why not? Now, this one, I don't have really enough to, um, left to, like, what am I going to say? Coil it up. Not really. Well, maybe this little tiny end I can. You can use UC beads. <laughs> Now, I'm just going to take that and push it in there. That's secure enough because whenever I put the next part in, I'll come right up next to that and then I'll catch that. But anywho, I think you guys can see how it goes, right? It's basically you need to have your bigger beads, your intermediary beads, and then lots of little guys. Lots of little guys. Yeah. And Best to pick your fam color family before you start putting stuff on, which I think most of you would do that. But if you're like me with the ADHD thing, you know, I just start putting stuff sometimes. And more likely than not, it does work for me. But it could be the reason it's working for me is I might be taking some stuff out and putting more in or whatever, just combining it as I go, which, you know, that's kind of could lead to disaster because you can be going along, oh, everything's great now. I don't have any more of that, you know. Yeah. So that's really not a good way to work. Make sure you have plenty of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> make sure you have plenty of stuff. And always get it at Beast Boutiques. Oh, yeah, don't forget that. <laughs> you know. Don't hey, for, don't do you, you want to show them mine? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I, you know what I'll I say? I kind of thought it was pathetic. Yeah, <laughs> you know what's pathetic about it, Javi? It looks like a sea turtle. <laughs> it does. No, there's nothing pathetic about this. Oh, okay. okay. You got the little melons going on here and everything. It's just these beads are a pain in the No. You can't leave them sticking out like that. You kind of have to, and I don't want to ruin your thing, but I'm just going to show you. Yeah, it's I It's kind of twisted and make it go down that way. But the thing is, is this a really tiny, petite piece? And so this is always going to be out of sync with whatever else you have on here. That's what I was saying. So I Maybe would, I would have should have just done I those. would say <laughs> see if you can take them off and just do your fill work. Got it. That and makes then sense. Yeah, do, I was thinking the and same do thing. And do then here, do fill in here too. Like wrap up like some of these right yep. in here and right in here. You know, and just get those leaves out. Other than that, it's excellent. And let's see the back. See, she did the same thing. She's got really tight wraps too. Sorry, I always think everything's going to fall apart. Safe and sorry. There we go. You got really tight wraps. But that's pretty good. Just these don't work. Got it. Not to these. These like actually these time. guys here. Yeah. They work, but they're on the verge of not working. They're like because they're so floppy. Enough. It's so floppy. Oh well, Beansy's here. She said. <laughs> oh, she here now. <laughs> she's here. Maybe she's in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, oh I didn't mean that in a bad way either. I didn't mean that in a bad. way. I love beans. You can always cut this up. Start start I'm making fun of her. We're not making fun of you, beans. We're not love making you. fun of you. We love you all. <laughs> we love everybody. We never want to hurt anybody's feelings. But sometimes I get goofy, and you know, it happens. Yeah. Don't yeah, mean to. Don't probably, mean to. I'm probably going to cut these out. Mean to. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would t totally cut those out. I cut them out. I was thinking, I was like, they don't work. I thought it was going to work. Think? Well, sometimes you have to try something, you know, and that's okay. It's okay. I'm just thinking some. I don't know if this will work here, but I'm just gonna try some. Since I've got a loose piece, I'm gonna just try. I love leaf beads, but this is dirty. Really good. Eh, get in there. Oh, Beans, thanks, we Debbie. thought maybe you were cooking for Paul. Yeah. Because we didn't see you. Yeah, cooking for Paul. I'm really looking forward to doing some of this kind of stuff by Zoom, too, guys. That's going to be a blast. Don't you of think? Of course, if when we have classes. We'll guys. be all together. 
in in real time talking to each other for real, not just type. The other stuff YouTube in. people don't know what you're talking about. You have to explain. That's for classes that Brenda teaches. Oh, I'm sorry. Remember, yeah. we're yeah, but I is, I, I want to do that for like like eventually like if I have. Once I get to the place where I'm good at doing it myself, because Hattie can't run up here all the time, you know, especially not on Sundays, and Sunday's a good time to do it, is to say, hey, you guys will be around this afternoon. Let's get on Zoom. Let's all hop on Zoom, you know? Whoever can, even it's five people. And we just get on, and we'll just talk to each other. It'll be so awesome. You'll be talking to me. I'll be talking to you. And it'll be awesome. 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 <laughs> I said the same thing. I said the same thing at the same time. Awesome. Awesome source. Yeah, I knew this was going to be a problem. Okay, so I need a few more in the back, but I think that's going to be pretty good. So basically, it's just you put your main pieces on, and then you do your fill. And your fill is where you kind of improvise. You kind of wing it like, uh, I think it was Colleen said, free form it. Yeah. Pretty much. Until you get a pattern for yourself going, and... And once you do that, you know, you've kind of got your own look going, too, right? And people will probably be able to tell, oh, I know who made that. Colleen made that. Or I know Beans I made that. Or Pat made that. Or whatever. They'll be able to tell because of your way, you know, with it. Okay, now, here's a little goofy thing I did. I wrapped that around twice because it needed it. This one looks like on the back. I don't have too many hanging out on the back, which is good. Because we don't want to waste them. We want them to be seen. Now I got this little tiny piece here, and I got to secure it. This is going to be fun. But sometimes it's good when stuff happens like this, because then you can see what to do. Okay, so I've got this pulled as tight as I can possibly pull it and have anything left to work with. I'm going to have to roll this. Hi, Vicki. There's a lot of new people. Oh, here. hey. Hi, Vicki. I'm glad you made it. We had a good group today. I'm so encouraged. So I'm just I'm just coiling this as tight as I can. But I've got a little tail hanging out there. I can't have that because it'll stick. Oh, that's not good. I gotta get any tails that little bits hanging up. Just like you know when you wire wrap earrings and stuff, and and connectors. You don't want that tail hanging out. Okay, so this is not secured like I'd like it to be. So I'm going to have to wrap it maybe back behind and pull it back behind there. Yeah, now. Okay, good. Now, I'll just get that mushed in there and it'll be all right. It'll stay. It's not in a stressful place, so it should stay. Okay, so now this got kind of pushed up strange. I'd like this one to be pushed down under a little bit. So I can adjust that. But anyway, I got... Oh, not quite a half of it done. And I'll sit here tonight and do the rest. And then, of course, I'll show you tomorrow, you know. But just think, too, you know, those of you who are doing the mixed media class right now, um, think, you know, could you make little itty tiny bitty beads with polymer clay or sculpt, with epoxy sculpt, that's what, and put in there and, like, do perfect pearls on them and they'll be shimmery and glowy. Ooh, pretty. And they don't cost you hardly anything, except a little time. That might work. You can make tiny leaves. We haven't done that yet. I was going to show you how to do that. You make tiny leaves with it, put in there. I mean, the sky's the limit. You know, you just say, what kind of beads do I like? I want to do little tiny wood beads. But you need small. You're not going to want anything much bigger than a 6 millimeter. Now, these are a little bit bigger than 6 millimeter, but I think they're 8, actually. But, you know, all of your fill stuff has got to be six millimeter under. Probably three or four is better. I do see a lot of wire here showing that I don't like, so I will be spending some time with this to fix it. But it's going to be nice. I'm going to like it. And I think you will, too. So what do you think, guys? You ready to try it? Oh, natural. <laughs> don't forget your makeup. She says, hi. Hit the thumbs up. Thank you. I appreciate that. Designs and do-overs. That's somebody new, isn't it? I don't think... Have you been with us before? We're really glad you're here. We're really thrilled for anybody new who shows up. Because like I always say about the creative group, you have friends waiting for you. Friends you haven't met yet. Love the same things that you do. 
I'm glad you're loving where it's going, Colleen, because it's only going to be going more and more. Wait till we get in that class this summer. We're going to do some big opus jewelry, all like this. And everybody's going to be looking at us and saying, hey, how did you do that? And you know what? We already know it's not rocket science. If I can do it and figure it out, believe me, it's not rocket science. Okay. I have no great talents. I just know what I like when I see it, and I love, you know, putting the old with the new and things like that. What looks good, what doesn't, and you know what to do, what not to do. But a lot of times I'm learning as I go, just the same as you guys. You know, maybe she's born with it, maybe it's Maybelline. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Debbie uh, says, I think I could actually do this. I know you can do it. Everybody here can do this. BZ says, I love wire jewelry. Yeah. Yeah. What? Had you can, you can <laughs> all do this. The colors are pretty, aren't they, Kate? I just think, you know, when I look and I put that little Picasso melon in there, I'm like, that just makes it special, I guess. For me, anyway, I like it. So anyway, but you know what I'll be doing tonight. I have to write a newsletter tonight. I'll just tell you guys tonight how it's going to go. <clears throat> Last week when I put up that weekend two code for the 25% off, I got my days all mixed up. And I thought, I thought that it was Memorial Day weekend already. You know, I like to do something that's a little bit more than I normally can do for Memorial Day because people expect to see a special sale and this and I don't want to disappoint them, okay? But I really can't do more than 25%. That's, and I already did like the whole site for that. So it's like, how do I top that? So I think the only thing I can do is let her ride. Hey, you guys, if you didn't get in on it last week, you know, this week, you know. And then I think what I'll do, too, is for, let's just say, this is Friday. Let's just say starting now, right now, <clears throat> anybody puts an order of any size, I don't care if it's five bucks, whatever. I'm going to throw them in the hopper to do a drawing, and I'm going to do... I'm not quite sure yet if it's going to be special. It's not going to be no $25 gift certificate. It's going to be something really cool. Okay. I might do a, like a humongous gifty. Ooh. Like I used to do. Any of you guys have been with me for a long time. You remember? Oh, there you go. She got that straightened out pretty good. You still got a ways to go, but I love the shape of it. Looks cute, doesn't it, guys? She did good. Yeah. She did good. But anyway... Do you remember those big gifts that I used to give back like six, eight years ago? I'd wrap them all up and they had, I mean, I did like special wrap on them, cascading mm -hmm. ribbon and pearls hanging off and all that. You know, I haven't done one of those in a long time. I think I should do something like that. That'd be fun, huh? That'd be really fun. And I just have to hope somebody buys something this weekend because if I got five pieces. It's always my worry. If I only get a few orders over the weekend, I still have to do it, you know. So we'll see what Yeah, happens. I hope you guys can order. That'd be but, great. Yeah. Well, you know what? Us. A lot of them already ordered. I know, week, that's true. You, know? and you, you don't have to you, order you can't, you uh, but it would help. I can't go back to any further than today, though. It's got to stay there. But, you know, we still have the, the pendants. You know, we're giving these away. Yeah, we're giving those pendants away. Here, I made, really mine, nice. I made mine into a necklace I was wearing. I don't know if you know. I still need to make mine. It's just a little simple thing. It's gorgeous. Mr. Bernie found these on a special buy. And he let me have some for like really super deal. Okay. And it's a beautiful little pendant mount. And it's got the, I don't know if you can see it. It's got the finest trace of slate blue enamel right in here. And I love it because it's got the, the bail built into it. Now, this does not have 1928 marks because he did not make it. i just tell you that right now. Mel is making less and less stuff in Burbank. So those pieces, parts that have that real 1928 made in Burbank, you know, marks on the back, they're going to get more and more special because he's doing a ton of importing, trying to, you know, cut costs so he can stay in business, basically, like everybody. So... Anyway, uh, but I'm giving these away for free. You get the, you get the pretty um, pearl and the mount. They're not put together. 
you can put the pearl in, use it on something else, whatever. Some might want to just make a resin thing out of it because it's, it's an open back mount. It's very nice. It's got a lip. So anyway, so uh, you don't get this chain either. I just put it on a chain. You just get the pendant and the pendant. You get it for free. It's about a $5 value with pearl in it, although the pearl's not glued in. But I don't know, $4.50, $4.95. And you're going to get it for free if your order's $35. And also, um, that would qualify you too to be in that drawing for the big fat present, which I will announce the, the, the um, winner for that on Tuesday. Okay. Somebody said a big comment there, and I just yeah, missed it. Know. Yeah, Debbie, don't worry about it. You know, if you get it, you get it. I always say, nobody ever misses anything. I always say, don't miss out, but, you know, there's always another one coming. Mm -hmm. You know, so don't feel obligated anyway. But, yeah, if you do, you'll get it entered. Maybe you'll win. You never know. Lisa, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to count everybody that ordered today. How's that? That way you're in it. That's fair. Anybody that ordered today already. If you ordered already today, you're in it. You're in the drawing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Kathy says, thank you. I've been watching your older videos on YouTube for inspiration. I have older pieces I didn't know what to do with now. Plenty of ideas. There you go. Yeah, our, our older ones is when I had short red hair. And they weren't as good as they are now, I don't think, the, the content. That's because Javi whipped me into shape, you know. You know she did. Oh, Colleen got her uh, free pendant, and they're very nice. She likes it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good. I like mine too. I see some. It's beautiful. I see some glue hanging out here. They <laughs> okay. Good thing it's fine. Well, it's about time for us to go. We've taken enough of your time. Plus, John's going to get mad pretty soon if I don't make his dinner. Yeah. I promised him. So anyway, he would. I would said for that I would have gone on my bike. See you later. So anyways, so it was so great to see you. Hey, Lisa, how you doing? Good to see you. It's so great to see you guys. I hope you'll try this. Um, post your pictures. You know, let's get everybody yeah. excited for this class because we're going to do some wild and crazy stuff. And then next week, of course, I have the class, the workshop. They get their bonus day um, on uh, next Friday. So it won't be on here live on Friday, but we're going to produce a video and have you schedule it. So it'll come out, and what it will be, it'll probably be more stuff with this. So you can watch it anytime. If you're in that class, don't worry about it. Come to the class, be part of the class, and then you can come back and watch this anytime, right? And another thing I'll just mention to you, if you didn't get in on the class and you wanted to be, you still can because everything's recorded. So you can go back. And I can put you in the Facebook group too. We'll work something out for the price since you came late. But anyway, that information is on the website. It's under the Bisu workshop banner okay all righty very good i think i said all i can say so before i start sounding stupid i'm gonna leave you guys are wonderful she says gotta go me too this was fun can't wait to see it yes you will you will see it yay hi kate okay you guys are great love you very very much thanks for coming this was the best live video we've had in a long time and that means a lot to me you really uh, bolstered my spirits. I feel really good about that. So we'll catch you on the flip-flop, as they say. 